Hello everybody, welcome to Indianapolis Plus Motor Speedway for round 4 of Velocity Online Racing Season 2. We are here for the Indianapolis 250, the most important race of the season for all of our drivers. We even have a bigger starting field than normal because we have a lot of Indy only entries and a lot of rookies as well making their first appearance in the league. So that is for sure going to be very exciting. But going to the starting grid here for today's race, Oscar Fredrickson for Team Velocity Online Racing on the pole with a 39.813 in the 12 car. That's going to be the first pole this season other than a team race first driver. And alongside Oscar is going to be Oscar Gonzalez Gonzalez making his first start of the season and in the only entry so far for Neki Racing Team. Then P3 and P4 go to Dave Stedman and Julian Altener. Then row 3, Rana Dewsbury has provided a $15 prize for the win of this race. So thank you very much to him for providing that. Uh, alongside him is going to be Luis Gonzalez Nunez who is, I believe, leading the championship entering this race, and it's going to be really exciting to see what he can do from that position on the grid. Then row 4, Chad Lurty, first start of the season as well for him, and alongside him is going to be Christopher Kreske. Then row 5, all team race first, Matt Houston in the 66 car, in P9, P10 goes to Alex van der Sand in the, uh, in the 17, sorry. And then row 6, Cody G. Williams, and alongside him is going to be Robert Sadler, both drivers in the 40.1 and 40.2 range. Then Kristen Nelson and AJ Musselman, both drivers for, drivers for Turn 4 Racing, all in the 40.29 range as well, so that's really close between those two. Row 8, Tyler Bloom and Domingo Scorigan. Uh, Tyler Bloom being the last car to set a time in qualifying, Domingos being the first with no time set in quali. Then P17 and P18 go to Chris Edwards and Jim Herrick, both rookies as well. Chris making his first start, Jim making his third start of the season. And then P19, the final row, row 10, is going to be Scott Christensen, also making his first appearance today. But the green flag is out. We are racing for the Indianapolis 250. Let's enjoy the sound of the Indy cars on lap 1. There you go, lap 1 is in the books at Indy. Let's go back to the battle up front here. You can see Oscar Fredrickson still in the lead. As we go into turn 1 for the first time at full racing speed. And there's a huge incident in turn, turns 1 and 2. And that's Julian Altena being involved. He is out of the race already before it properly got underway. And then there's a separate wreck, wreck as well in turn 2 involving multiple cars. And that's going to be a race done for many cars already on lap 2 of this 100 lap race. You can see on the replay here, um, Chad Lurty pushes up a little bit on the track and uh, makes contact with the 31 of Julian Alton. And uh, yeah, just nowhere to go for him. He is out of the race already and that's going to be huge for the championship that uh, he had a pretty good run in so far. So that's going to be really unfortunate. But Ryan Dewsbury just about managed to avoid him. As you can see here, it was so close. But then, unfortunately for Ryland, um, a wreck with Robert Sadler and another car. I can't really see who that was. Um, unfortunately, ended his race as well as Robert Sadler. So, um, yeah, that's a big shame for them. But on lap 5, the green flag is back out again. And everybody is racing into turn 1. Oscar Fredrickson and all of that still leading ahead of Matt Houston now in P2. So that's really good from him there. Um, big jump from the start and you can see the two Nicky racing cars also making moves that's Luis Gonzalez Nunez in P3 and Oscar Gonzalez Gonzalez in P4 and behind him is Alex van der Sand, I believe who we are riding on board with now and you can see a little bit of a change in overlay we have a different overlay style for uh, for the rest of the season which is provided by race lab apps so we are running a lap count and uh, the driver tracker as well uh, we might be able to get lifetime and the scoring for the Milwaukee race, which is going to be covered by Kane Jr. by the way. Uh, it's been a while, but he's going to be making one video again. Um, so we are looking forward to that. But on to lap 11 now, you can see everybody battling for positions still. Uh, this is not going to really last too long though, because the tyres are going to definitely fall off quite soon. You can see one of the race first cars driving the high side. Um, 
Normally the high side is better for tire saving, but at, at Indy it might not really be the case, as we have a yellow on the track. Can we see what that was for? We cannot, I believe. Yes, we can! So that's Cody G. Williams making contact with the turn 1 and 2 wall. He spins around and uh, just about manages to avoid um, Domingos Corrigan, who came really close to his car there. But um, under that yellow, everybody pitted, and you can see uh, Oscar Fredrickson and Luis Gonzalez Nunez, Dave Stedman, Oscar Gonzalez Gonzalez, all peeling off to pit roads for fresh tyres and fuel. And at the restart, it's Oscar Gonzalez Gonzalez leading the field to green again. As you can see, somebody making a move on Oscar Fredrickson. Um, again, it might be one of the race first cars in Matt Houston. Uh, we're just going to wait and see who that is, in fact. And I'm pretty sure it is. So, um, Oscar dropping a few positions. Of course, he lost a little, little bit of ground under those pit stops. But um, it's still really early on in the race, so it shouldn't really be a... Um, big issue for him so far, but going to lap 15 now into turns uh, 3 and 4. A little bit of a battle forming between the two Nicky Racing drivers. Uh, Oscar Gonzalez Gonzalez getting overtaken by Luis Gonzalez Nunez. And Oscar is going to try to retake that lead into turn 1. He's going to put out of the draft and he's going to make that move stick into turn 1 here. As you can also see, Oscar Fredrickson getting really close to making a move on the race for his car as well. Again, can't really identify that car, but pretty sure it is Matt Houston. Um, we might get a closer look, and it is, indeed it is Matt Houston. It's the red number 66. Uh, Alex runs a white number 17, so it's uh, a little bit more identifiable if that's even a word. But um, yeah, you can tell those cars apart by that. Um, it's a little bit more difficult for the Necky Racing cars, but Luis Gonzalez Nunez again taking the lead into turn three. But once again, just like the lap before, it's going to be. Oscar Gonzalez making a move into turn one. Uh, a little bit further back as well. You can see Dave Stedman uh, having a little bit of a battle with, with Alex van der Sen and also Chad Lurty in the red Netflix car. That's a really nice paint, by the way. Uh, but onto lap 18 now, on board with Kristen Nelson for a second. And you can definitely hear that she has to lift off quite a bit under that uh, effect of dirt here that she has further in the pack. Um, up front it might be flat just about, but if you're the second or third car in line, you're really going to have to lift a lot. But hey, you can see Oscar Fredrickson making a move for P3. Doesn't get it done though, because Matt Houston holds it around the outside and just has more momentum on the high side there. And uh, he might have a run on P2 as well now. Let's see if he's going to be able to make that move stick. Um, he might have done that, but we're going to focus up front now. Oscar Fredrickson is going to pass for the lead here. Um, and that is on the race first car, in fact. And he gets a little bit loose on the concrete inside curbing there. But he gets away with it and uh, stays in front of Matt Houston there. On um, to lap 41 now. The proper pit window has opened, so everybody is now going to pit within now in the next few laps. Um, I believe it's been 26, uh, sorry, 26 laps since the uh, restart on lap 15. So it's a little bit early for him to pit, but maybe he can manage a little bit of an undercut on the drive that he's racing with. But um, a lap later now, Matt Houston in the pits. And you can see Oscar Gonzalez Gonzalez sliding into the pit box. And he was leading the race by a good second or two, but he makes a mistake. Um, Behind the scenes, we heard that he didn't really pre uh, prepare for this race that well. Um, so yeah, it's going to be very easy to make those mistakes. But uh, after about halfway from now, he, he should be able to warm up quite well and uh, just race like he would ideally want to. So uh, it's really his first mistake of the day and it's really not been a significant one. So he's still in the race, that's what matters. There might be a late race yellow, you never know. But um, yeah, let's see what uh, Oscar is going to be able to do on Matt here. And he is going to be able to pass him, as you can see, into turn three. So he's going to move back ahead of him now. So everything has settled down a little bit now. So let's enjoy some more sound of the Indy car. <laughs>
And that was on board with your race leader in the number 12 Velocity on a Racing Car of Oscar Fredrickson. He's been leading for a while now. But uh, unfortunately for him, entering the pit box makes a little bit of a mistake. Just loses some time there. And that is really going to just make his lead disappear. He was, he was leading by a good couple seconds from uh, Luis Gonzalez Nunez. And that lead is going to be gone now. Um, as tough as it is, uh, it's the truth. So yeah, there you can see uh, Luis Gonzalez Nunez has already pitted. He's got one of the race first cars behind him. Um, both of those cars are going to take the position from Oscar and he's going to move down to P3. And that is Alex van der Sand in the white number 17 car. So um, yeah, bad pit stop for Oscar, but uh, he's still got 27 laps to make up for that lost ground. So here we go. How are we seeing a charge of Fredrickson? Let's see on the outside of turn one. And there you go. He's going to move himself up into P2. Now, what a great move there. Right around the outside. Both are fresh tyres, by the way. So it is pretty much an equal fight, apart from maybe one or two laps difference in the tyres. But still, great move from Fredrickson there. On to lap 77 now. A few laps later, he's going to make a passing attempt on Luis Gonzalez Nunez. And they're so close together. There might have been a little bit of contact, but... Uh, Lewis holds on to the race lead for now. 23 laps to go. Plenty of time for Oscar to make his move. So let's see if he can do it now into turn 3. Oscar definitely racing um, with all the aggression that he can have to retake that lead. He is mad about his pit stop. He wants that lead back. And it's certainly shown that he wants it. And uh, he is really fighting for it. But uh, unfortunately for him... Lewis has just defended so well today and he's going to hold on to the race lead until the final lap. Coming around turns 3 and 4 and we're going to have our first double winner of the season. It's been 3 out of 3 winners until now but now it's going to be 3 out of 4 races. Lewis Gonzalez wins Michigan and Indianapolis now. He takes the $15 provided by Ryland and he's going to be a happy man taking the biggest race of the season and the biggest amount of points possible as well. Uh, for finishing first, of course. He didn't really get the pole award, but uh, still really nice to get away with the win there. And uh, he does his celebratory donuts. So yeah, congratulations to Luis Gonzalez Nunez on winning the Indy 250 for Nike Racing Team. In P2 is Oscar Fredrickson for Team Velocity on a Racing. And then in P3 also for Nike Racing Team, Oscar Gonzalez Gonzalez. The next race is going to be at the Milwaukee Mile. We'll see you all then.